Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So uh, we're just going to do a quick update. Um, I haven't posted a lot on the uh, channel lately, not as much as I really wanted to, but I've been kind of stuck at work and doing a whole lot of uh, stuff to a truck I own. But we're going to do a quick update here. So we've got the 18 Charger. She's the Hellcat. Um, this channel is going to be focused on the mods I do to it and the things I do. And I'm going to try to do almost everything in this garage. Um, there's going to be some stuff I am planning that I'm not even going to attempt to do here. Like camshaft. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, and probably the headers. Simply because I don't have a lift here. Um, the new house is being built that will have a garage with a lift. That's you know a four car garage bigger than this little thing. That... As you can see, I really have no room to do much of anything in here. But uh, what's done to the car? So right now, the only thing I've got, I've got a box in it, a taser for the cool down and the line lock. It's got a one piece drive shaft. We uh, went in and put in a drive shaft loop because that's going to kind of be necessary at my local track. Um, I've got the billet catch can, obviously, you can see that. And as far as that goes, I think that's pretty much everything we've done. But for what's coming up, that's what we got here. So we're going to be using the MPVI 2 tuner. Um, I settled on Kurt Dusterhoff tuning. Uh, we went ahead and we got the Innovators West lower, the crank pin kit. We've got two Matco pulleys. So the reason why I'm doing two is E85 is gonna be used on the track. And up in my part of California, um, they don't sell E85 at the station. So I got a 3.1 pulley for street use. And then for the E85, Kurt sent me out a, that's the street use one. 3.1 for gas, 91, and for the 95, he wants to run the uh, 6.2 or 2.6. Some uh, fuel injector injectors, still haven't even opened the damn box. Pulley ring, tool, and then I've got the B. Woody uh, sway bar link so I can run the 17s on it. And, of course, I still have to order the uh, rims and tires. I'm um, thinking D5 forged with the beadlock. I don't really see the point of spending a shit ton of money on welds. They look great, but, I mean, you're talking about almost two grand. I could put that money back into the engine versus looking cool for the times it goes to the track. So, and this car does get used, obviously. Um... It is, as you can see, completely filthy because she is a everyday car. So it's not, you know, a trailer queen. It gets used. The kids destroy it, but that's, you know, it is what it is. So I didn't buy it to park it. It's supposed to get driven. Um, and she needs a bath, but... Up here in Humboldt, man, it, it's going to rain for the next four months straight. So it's kind of hard to keep up on it. So the reason why we haven't been getting, I haven't been able to put out a lot of videos on this car yet is I'm dealing with a 2006 Mega Cab that I'm finishing off again. Um, I'll be on my third motor now for it. But that should be wrapped up here within a week. I'll try to figure out how to post some pictures of that one, but... That's a, uh, like I said, a 5.9 Cummins, uh, 476 Turbo. I mean, everything. We did a stupid amount of stuff to that truck. So she should be detuned now. We're tuning it down because it's going to be more of a street truck. Um, so it'll be right around the 1,100 horsepower on that one. But I wanted something more reliable because I told the wife she can take the truck and I'm going to turn this more into an every other day car versus what it is now. Um, so I'll try to post some pictures up on the, uh, on this video for that. Just overall view of what the truck is, what we've done to it. Um, 
I started out doing a lot of it myself, but then turned it over to my buddy, Adam Aquino over at uh, A&A Motorworks, just because I don't have time to deal with uh, a whole lot of stuff. So between 80 hours a week at work and trying to do this and I've just been crammed. So, but she does, oh, also she has a boost the pump on it for right now which that'll get changed over as well. So you got your boost reference basically for my boost to pump and it's got the air filter. So so the only other thing I think we have, oh, uh, build technology, their water neck. So other than that, I just, I haven't done anything because obviously I don't want to start installing all this and not have everything set and ready so that's kind of why i've just been sitting back and waiting on it because i don't want to put the injectors in not have it tuned i don't want to put the pulleys on or anything like that and not have it all ready so because i'm waiting on a dual pump from kurt one of his dual pump plug and play kits because i don't want to really have to hack up the wiring on this thing so I think that's pretty much the last piece. I've already got the tunes down from him. I just need to get the fuel pump ordered and then uh, I can start the installs. So when I do start it, like I said, um, I'm gonna try to film everything. And like I said, everything's gonna be done here. I don't, I don't wanna take it in and just drop it off at the shop. I wanna do most of the work and then we'll go from there and I'll show you guys what, what I do, what works, what doesn't work. And I am by no means a mechanic. I don't even have a lift, which would be really nice. I've been thinking about one of those quick jack lifts you can get at Costco for like $1,000. And some race ramps, but I don't know. Right now, I'm just I'm going to kind of do what I can do, and then we'll go from there, and I'll take you guys along with it. Uh, like I said, my main goal for this thing is to get down in the nines. And uh, I think now with the NHRE rules, if it's a 2008 newer car, as long as you don't go faster than 9.9, you don't need a cage in the quarter. So I think I'll hammer it one time into the nines just so I know it's there and I don't have to cut the car up because I'm not going to cut this car up to put a cage in it and spend seven, eight grand on that. Just, you know, it's not going to be worth anything. So I don't see the point in doing that. So hopefully we'll get down into the nines and then we'll dial it back into the tens. Just something I can have fun with. It's not, you know, I'm not going to be competitive. I'm not going to be trying to run with all these YouTube guys. I just want to have something I can have fun with and enjoy. So outside of that, uh, when the truck comes back here in a week, I'll make a quick video on that and what we did do it. It's uh, a little bit over the top and I'll end up probably ended up getting rid of that thing. So I just, I have too many toys, too many projects that I never finish. So but uh, we'll go from there and I'll check back in with you guys when I uh, get some time to actually start working on this stuff.